So I didn't know how to prepare his food. At that time, I thought that I didn't have it because, you know, I didn't want to hurt my baby or anything crazy like that. We were doing everything wrong talaga with Scotty. Testing, testing. How do I know if this is recording? Let me check. Okay, it's recording. Ooh, long time. No sit down video. It feels so weird. I've just been doing vlogs for as long as I can remember, but I really do miss sitting down and talking to you guys. And I felt like it was time, time for a change. And what better thing to celebrate than, well, it's not really a celebration. It's more of a look back, a look back at my old videos. I've been doing vlogs for so long and it's so great because sometimes when I wanna remember like, how was Scotty at this age? Or what were Slater and I doing at this time? It's so easy for me to look back and remember. But sometimes when I look at those videos, I have so many different reactions. I have so many different, emotions with those memories that I thought would be fun to share with you guys. So that is exactly what we are doing today. We're gonna to be reacting to some of my very, very old vlogs that are near and dear to my heart. I actually don't know what I'm reacting to. Um, it's my team who picked that out for me. So without further ado, I have my handy dandy MacBook Pro here that I sourced from Mobile Cart, not sponsored. But here we go. He does not care. He's very degaf riding his little vacuum cleaner. Oh yeah, yeah, Gerald. Oh yeah, yeah, Marlon had such short hair, pa. Oh. I really remember this moment so clearly because I think there were only at this time like two people in our household aside from Yaya Jera. So we had so many robot vacuums around the house that would clean our house while we were busy doing other things. And Scotty would be so curious, like why is there a round thing that's moving around my house every single day, making so much noise. I remember the first time we did this was, it was Halloween. So right about the time, the same age ni Sevi ngayon, it was Halloween and we dressed Scotty up as a little Yoda and we made him ride the vacuum cleaner to make it seem like he was floating and it was the most adorable thing ever. So I do really remember this moment. It's so cute. Yeah, he would stand up on it also. Oh, Slater's hair. I cut this hair, guys. I remember this was still at the peak of the pandemic. We still weren't ready to go out into salons and such. So Slater and I were actually the ones who cut our own hair. If you guys weren't part of the Sky Fam yet, then I highly recommend that you check those videos out. I'll put a link down below. But yeah, I cut his hair. It's actually not bad. It actually looks really, really nice. Video number two is his first meal. Okay, I remember. Let me explain why Scotty's wearing a whale hat. It's because at this time when he was six months old, his hair was falling off like nobody's business. It looked so weird. So I put on this. It was a hat that came along with this onesie. And it's so funny because it has a garter on it. So it makes him look like he's really mad when he's not. That was so funny. And I remember I was super stressed out this day because we had one million and one things to do. But I also wanted it to be Scotty's first day to eat solids. We didn't have enough help here to tell me like my mom wasn't here, my sister wasn't here. So I didn't know how to prepare his food. So I tried like three times and it all ended up being such a failure. I remember that so vividly. And so I was super sweaty here. You can see the sweat in my nose. And we were feeding Scotty finally after so long. And this is his reaction. I think the first thing that we fed him was sweet potato if I'm not mistaken. And he instantly grabbed the spoon and he was just, he was all for it. He was so, he was an expert. He was an eating expert, which is totally opposite of what's happening today because now it takes so much willpower and people around the house to convince him to eat because he just wants to play all day and move around. And to him, eating is another chore that he doesn't want to do. But here, he loved eating. It was so easy to introduce solids to him. Whatever we gave, he would just chow down. And even now here with the spoon, you'll see, he's just going at it. He's just an expert. <laughs> Yes, finally, like the flavor. Oh, this is 
really refreshing to see also that Slater is super hands-on at this point in time. I can't blame him now for not being hands-on with Sevi because Shempre back to work Natayo and I'm actually very proud of him that he's back to work and he's finding his passions and all of that. But it's just so weird to see now that he was so active in taking care of the kids and he was part of all of these milestones with the kids. So weird lang to see Slater in the vlog during daytime. I think I mentioned that in the last vlog that it was so weird to see him part of my videos. But yes, I remember this time. It was December 2020. This is also why we had so many crazy moments and bonding moments with Scotty because we were literally at home looking at him 24-7. <laughs> you want more? Come here now. He was so chunky. He was so chunky. Aww. I think he'll really enjoy baby led weaning because he has control over young food. Let's try it next time. Oh my gosh, Scotty's skin, it's so white and porcelain like. I can almost feel it from watching this video. Sevi, now he's more sensitive, so a lot of the times he'll have red patches here and there. There's so many things with Sevi's skin now, which is why I have to be super careful with what I eat since I'm still breastfeeding. But I remember Scotty was so solid and his skin was so white and so soft. Like no matter what I did, it would be okay. And so we were a little bit rougher with Scotty than we were with Sevi. But just looking at this now, like, oh my gosh, looking at a baby Scotty not talking yet, it's a miracle because Scotty's like opening his mouth whenever he's awake. It's so refreshing also to see Scotty being quiet and um, just being so chill. Because Scotty's not chill. He doesn't have chill anymore. He, he left it at six months. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next video. Scotty's first time at the beach. Oh! Six months yeah, old here. Oh, look at those little toes. Oh, look at the wonder in his eyes. This is actually a very beautiful moment because, as I mentioned, Scotty's a pandemic baby, and so we were just at home the whole time since he was born. And this is probably one of the very few moments that he actually left the Skypod. I think. To him, this moment was so special, even though he probably can't remember it, <laughs> because he is suddenly seeing the world for the very first time. He's suddenly going out, you know, feeling the sand, the texture on his skin, seeing the sea, hearing it, all of these senses are awakened. For six months of his life, he was used to seeing the same things and hearing the same things every day, and now experiencing everything all at once, I feel like must have been very overwhelming for him, but he seems very, very happy here. And I do remember this moment. You know, a lot of people say like, don't take your kids out to travel because they're never gonna remember it anyway. You're just hassling yourself. The kids won't remember it, but you as a mom and you as a dad will. And I feel like that's why if you really wanna take your kids out to holidays, then it's also good because even if they don't remember what happened, you will forever have that memory treasured in your heart. And it's so special. Just like this moment, he was six months old. We took him to the beach. It was a little bit of a, Difficult ride because Shempre, when you're bringing a newborn or a baby somewhere else, like you have to pack your whole house, like so many things to consider, but definitely one for the books. I don't regret it. And I love reliving this memory through my vlog. <laughs> oh, he likes it. Scotty's swimming in the water. Oh my gosh, he's so chunky, he has boobs. Oh my gosh, yes. I remember there is a blur here because Scotty did not like to wear any shorts. Yeah, and oh, he's so he's so round and white. I miss this moment so much. He's so happy. Oh my baby, he really is a water baby. He really is a water baby ever since. Oh my baby, I can't wait to take Sevi out like this too, when he can fully like be aware of everything. Because right now Sevi's still kind of woozy and sleepy, so he can't really enjoy as much as Scotty enjoyed it this time. Until this day, guys, he still does not want to wear swimming shorts. He just he likes to go commando everywhere. I don't know why. Okay, moving on to the next video. Slater cooks for a day. Wow. When will that ever happen again? Never. Never. Yet. <laughs> He's so busy. What did Slater cook for Scotty? I don't remember. You like a sluhan? Something sour? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a lemon. Oh, he loves it. Oh, Scotty. He's clapping his hands. Oh, Scotty boy eating lemon. 
You know what? It's funny because a lot of the things that he has enjoyed doing while he was growing up, like five, six, seven months, eight months old, he still enjoys up to this day. Like he loves walking barefoot. He loves going commando. He loves eating sour things. Looking back at these videos, it's not a surprise to me. It's not like, hala, he liked to eat that pala before. No, it's like, yeah, he, he liked that ever since. That's the reaction that I'm getting right now. But more so, Slater cooking, when will that happen ever again? Oi! 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 Yeah! Spinach pesto! Wow! I should show Scotty this video because now he will not eat Yay. like this. Here, he is not afraid to use his hands, feel all the different textures of food, kind of get his hands dirty. But now, my goodness, Scotty, he doesn't want to touch like even a marshmallow because it's sugary and it's going to get his hands dirty. He doesn't want to touch anything fried because it's oily and his hands are going to be oily. I don't know where he gets that because he's okay with touching the ground bare feet. I don't get it. I don't get where he got that. Definitely not from us because we always encourage him to use his hands. But it's so weird how their personalities change and develop, no? Life with Scotty. Oh, he looks so different. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh, oh this is so savvy. Oh. So this was filmed August 2020, which means Scotty was only two months old here. I really, really remember this time because Scotty did not have a room yet. So we transferred his crib to the sala and that's where he would take all of his naps. It was super bright because we live in a glass house. So it was so difficult for him to fall asleep. We didn't know at that time that that was the reason because we just figured like babies can sleep anywhere depending on where you get them used to. But Apparently, that's all wrong after speaking to so many sleep consultants. We did so many things wrong. And I also have done a video about the things I discovered that I was doing wrong with Scotty and like what we're doing now to change that. But I really remember this time, we were having zero sleep. It was so difficult. We were at our wit's end and we would try to let Scotty sleep on his stomach to hopefully extend his naps for longer because he would usually wake up every 30 minutes. And this was against every single book that I read because they always say back is best. Never let your baby sleep on his stomach. Especially like don't put pillows and random things that your baby could get, you know, his nose stuck into and then now he can't breathe. We were doing everything wrong talaga with Scotty, but we were so desperate because there was no sleep involved. Now we know better. Sevi is such a great sleeper, but all of his little mannerisms, like <laughs> finding his hand, Sevi does that now and it's just so funny to see and also like now i can't i can't imagine sevi being like scotty and running around and seeing scotty like this is just it feels like it was light years away but it was just two years ago grab a young time talaga no uh, do you guys think that scotty looks the same now than he did before because I can totally see the similar, like I can see it, like it's Scotty, it's totally Scotty. Albeit a lot like chiller, like with less features, like he had less hair, his eyes are a bit more swollen here than now because his eyes are so big now, but mm, I can see it, it's still my baby. Yeah, your face is so big. My heart, guys. I think it's only a mom that can stare at their baby or videos of their baby for so long and it being okay. Because when other people send me videos of their baby and it's more than like 10 seconds, I'm like, this is too long, what's the point? But if it's my own baby, I can stare at this video for so long. Oh my gosh. And also, I remember, Slater and I were actually living in the sala. Like, it was so hot. The air conditioner in our sala is six horsepower, so it consumes so much energy. So we didn't want to turn it on all the time. So every time we turned it on, it was a super treat for us. So on our normal everyday, we would just be chilling in the sala. There would be a fan in front of us because it would be so hot. Again, we live in a glass house. We didn't have any tints in our glass yet at that point. And I remember that every time I would record a video, the fan would just be so noisy, like shh. 
sh in the videos, which I apologize for. I've learned better. I remember Slater would always tell me, like, turn off the fan when you're shooting a video or turn off the, the iRobot, the vacuum robot when you're shooting a video. But I would just always be so tired, you know, from not sleeping and taking care of the kids that I would always say, like, I don't care. The Sky Fam will understand. I just want to document this time in my life. That's it. But now, like, looking back, I totally get Slater now. You know, he's always right. Why is he always right now? Scotty at three months. Scotty at three months. Oh you hate so much. Is this the time when I fell? Later. When I fell off? And we're just getting his shoes now. Shooting! Is it? Love you. Mommy's practicing you to be a vlogger. Aww. He can be whatever he wants to be. Aww. Even a uh, banana? He can be a banana if he wants to be a banana. Scotty looks like a little professor here, like a little teacher. <laughs> he looks so different here. But I remember Scotty has so much more clothes than Sevi, which is weird because I bought so much for Sevi and I never bought anything for Scotty. Like everything was given. But I feel like also when I gave birth to Scotty, like after he outgrew his clothes, I kind of gave everything away just because I didn't want to keep so many things at home. And I thought like, you know, sayang naman if I just kept it in my drawer and then mamaya I won't get pregnant or mamaya I'll have a girl and then I won't get to use it. So I just donated a lot of stuff. So now Sevi has no clothes. It's all like pantulog. Because as a second time mom, you're more practical. You also know what your baby needs more. So pantulog lahat ng clothes ni Sevi. Oh, but it's okay. Look at that foot, guys. That foot. More than Scotty here, I really recall that I was having such a hard time. I think you call it postpartum depression now. At that time, I thought that I didn't have it because, you know, I didn't want to hurt my baby or anything crazy like that. But now looking back, I did have it. I felt so sorry for myself. There was resentment with Slater. Every time I would do more than he would, I would kind of resent him and wish that, you know, he could pull his weight also, which is unfair of me to ask because now I've learned that I can be the parent that I want to be and he can be the parent that he wants to be. And I don't have to force my image or expect that of him. That's just something that I've learned now looking back at this. But I really remember Scotty and I, we were so bonded. It's like I really felt like he was a part of me, you know. Sky Fam update, eight fifty-two. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> first of all, Scotty's hair, and second of all, Slater's hair. Oh my gosh! I remember every time we saw Slater's mom, she would tell us, "Cut your hair. You look so untidy." And Slater and I would look at each other like, "Ah, she doesn't know what she's talking about. You look so, you look so good, love. Sobrang in love pa Slater at that time. Bagas yung long hair. You can pull it off." Now, whenever Slater says, "I'm gonna grow my hair long," I'm like, "We've done that. It doesn't work, honey." <laughs> your mom was right. As always, moms are always right. Scotty, <laughs> what's wrong with your hair, baby? Barug barug mo na yung hair. Oh, that's Oh my gosh, so this is October 7, 2020, which is about the same time as now, and Sevi does the exact same thing. He loves shouting, like letting his voice be heard. Like, ah! He does that all the time, especially if you interact with him or if he sees you. He's always so smiley. Like, I feel like Sevi's the smiliest baby ever. If you just touch his cheek or if he just sees you, he's instantly laughing and smiling, which I am so obsessed with. This is, okay, let's just call this video reacting to Scotty's old clips because <laughs> obviously, Sevi was just bored, so he's not part of it. 17.05 is the next one. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it says most replayed. I wonder what happened. Okay, go. <laughs> My mom, up to this day, is still obsessed with Scotty's kilay. She always says that Scotty has the best kilay. I have to say, my kilay is pretty nice now, but it's microbladed. Scotty actually takes after his dad physically, like what he looks like is really like Slater. Personality-wise, I would say, and everybody agrees with me, that Scotty is such a, such a Chris. Like, it's like a carbon copy of my personality, but his face, he looks exactly like Slater, and my mom still can't get over it because she's in love with Scotty's eyebrows. <laughs> Okay, the most replayed part is actually... 
a little bit forward from here. Hi, it's your lookalike. <laughs> it's my dad. Really, I can't. I don't see it. You. There, there is. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people also said when Scotty was growing up at around this age that he looked like my dad. I think it's the bottom half of their face or their face shape. But now I don't see it at all because Scotty's such a carbon copy house later. But I remember at this time, my dad was so happy because everyone, everyone said that he looked like my dad. And so what grandpa would not be happy about that, right? I love it. I love seeing my dad so happy like this. It's so nice that I was able to capture this on video. Okay, let's play the next one. It's a nine month baby update. <laughs> I was actually looking for this clip last night because I wanted to ready myself and it's starting to rain so if you hear a little pitter patter that's why. But I wanted to ready myself for when Sevi would first say his first word and I'm 100% sure it's gonna be mama because later God doesn't really spend time with him now which I don't blame him for. I think eventually he will when Sevi is more aware of everything. Scotty said mama at 9 months so I am banking on Sevi to say the same at 9 months and I'm gonna brainwash him starting now. Like every time he sees me, mama, mama, mama. So. Pakyo natin guys. <laughs> I have all the first words. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I remember there was this one time I was so into shooting Scotty's monthly photos that I actually fell off the couch and Yaya could not stop laughing. But now I just noticed Scotty was actually looking at me. Scotty was like, like, what happened to my mom? She just disappeared. Let's watch that again. <laughs> Oh my god, if you look at the far right, Yaya's like laughing her head off. And Scotty's just so confused. Oh my god. What happened? This is what I really love about the household here at home. Everybody kind of feels like family. They're able to laugh with us, celebrate Scotty's moments with us, or celebrate not just Scotty's moments, Sevi's moments, the whole family successes. We celebrate it together. I really value that. It's easy for us to kind of laugh with each other, spend time with each other. It's not so formal, it's not so strict, and they're comfortable with living here. That's just something that I really love about this household and the energy here at home. Okay guys, actually there's five more videos that they listed, but I feel like time is a running out. We need to get out of here. So I would say thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want me to do more sit down videos. I will try to find time, but I feel like mas gusto niyo para new vlogs. It was just so nice to look back at these videos, which I normally do, but this time look back at it with you guys. Let me know your comments and reactions down below because I would love to know what you guys think. Also looking back at these old videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed Feel it coming in Golden